and welcome back. Alright, we last left off, our hero, that's me, uh, was attempting to get these bloody pipes to go in the right places. Thank you. Oh, wait. These seem to be of different lengths. Maybe this one. This one, I think. This one seems to be longer. Maybe it goes over. Or maybe it doesn't. Maybe it goes over. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. It doesn't seem much to attach. Here, I'll just... There, that's better. Not I can see. Oh, I don't have enough of those. There has to be some kind of instruction or something. This is just kind of guess and check. Oh, wait. Okay, okay. This one goes like that. This one might be able to do that. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, yeah! Excellent! We even get some lovely music. I think that's it for this room. I want to make sure I haven't forgotten anything. Oh! <laughs> Screw you too! There we go. The purpose of the Inner Sanctum had always been to study the orbs and find a way to force them to yield to their power. However, he was still unaware of this. Well, alright. Lever. Probably should have thought you know, that earlier. Okay, then. Lever. Thank you. You're nice. Usually, in this game, it seems like the solution to, hey, this thing won't move, is throw a rock at it. I'm still not sure whether those are rose petals or drops of the amnesia potion. Rose petals would be nicer. Ha! Handy rock. Get there. Daniel has a pretty good arm. Doesn't find that very comfortable. I can't believe that worked. Wow. Okay. Or now I probably should have done that, you know, later so that I would have gotten the sanity increase after doing this. Cistern or the moor? Cistern sounds nicer. The moor full of dead things. Daniel doesn't like dead things, all that's part of everything else. Alright. So I'm going to stop here so I don't run out of time in the next section, hopefully. And I'll visit the cistern. Have fun!